Alright, so this is the best possible place I can find to film this video, but I feel like I have so many thoughts right now that I need to express, so hi everyone! So this is basically going to be a life update video, but first I'm gonna share with you guys the good news. So I've been accepted into Sivananda and I'm doing the Karma Yoga study program. So basically what the program is, is a full immersion program, so I'm going to be... Yeah, there's a lot of background chatter. I'm really, really, for the first time in my life, going to be diving way into my spirituality. Really, I was thinking about this channel and how I feel like there are some thir certain things I feel like you have to hide in order to be accepted by society and a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people everywhere I feel like put up this facade like everything is perfect in their life when the reality is nobody is perfect. Everybody has shit they need to work on. I absolutely do not claim to know everything and I don't claim to have my shit together. I really want to be open and completely transparent on this platform because I want it to be a place where I could fully express myself. I was in a really awkward position before. This is a little bit better. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm gonna be honest. So when I was in high school, I struggled a lot with my mental health. And I know a lot of people do struggle with mental health issues, which is a huge reason why I speak about things like this. But it's something that I feel like has really stunted me in life. Like, some people have f high functioning depression and anxiety. I was not high functioning at all and I spent a majority of my adolescenthood in and out of treatment centers and I just feel like because of this it has been a lot harder it's been a lot harder for me to figure out life and adulthood like I feel like my brain in a way has been trapped in a freezer for all those years because I was trying to get a hold of my mental health yoga and spirituality is what has helped me recover like drastically and I feel like what a lot of people don't understand is when you turn to yoga and when you turn to spirituality it's not just learning how to cope with life it's really looking deep within yourself and facing every part of yourself even even the things that you don't want to face and completely healing everything and transforming everything from the inside out and again I'm still learning like I'm not claiming to know everything this is where I am right now and the fact that I have been accepted into this program is just like, it's one, it's such a privilege, I feel like, to really get an education and learn. Um, and the second thing I want to say is that it's really a great feeling knowing that I am emotionally ready to handle something like this. <laughs> and I know that sounds like really pathetic and sad, but the truth of the matter is when you are deep in anxiety or depression or in an eating disorder that's the first thing you have to get a hold of and on the application they ask you all of these questions about your mental health and it's honestly for an understandable reason because you really have to be willing to put in the hard work basically fun fact when I did my first teacher training there were times where I felt like I couldn't do it like I wanted to cry because I had a lot of negative thoughts running through my mind and they really weighed me down and prevented me from learning as much as I possibly could have learned. Not that I didn't learn a lot because I did, but it's just really interesting looking back at that and being where I am now. I just feel like people perceive mental illness as weak or as lesser than when you open up about your mental illness, a lot of people are gonna look at you like there's something wrong with you, like you're a crazy person. Close friends have told me that it is when I do talk about these things, it's comforting to know that they aren't alone because believe it or not, so many people go through this but are afraid to talk about it. So when somebody does open up and fully express themselves and be 100% vulnerable, it's comforting to know that they aren't alone in this because I remember for so many years I felt so alone. And I'm gonna be honest, I think YouTube, for example, has been a challenge and 
a huge step out of my comfort zone. So this video is just me kind of rambling. I really just wanted to get all of these thoughts out. I'm not gonna lie, there is a part of me that's a little bit nervous because they have a one month trial period and I still, there is a little teeny voice of self-doubt in the back of my mind, but I'm really going to ignore those thoughts because rationally I know this is right up my alley. I have a huge giant bubbling passion and when you are working hard at something that you're passionate about, when you're studying about something that you are passionate about, it's bound to go well. Basically I have faith in myself, that was the point of that message I suppose. I definitely do want to vlog this adventure and I'm gonna try to get some footage. I don't know if how much I will be able to so if I don't upload for a little while it's because I'm really focusing on myself right now. I will try to keep whoever might be interested in these vlogs updated. Let's see, do I have any other thoughts I want to express? Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video, but I hope that everyone- so many noises- I hope that everyone is having a great day. Yeah, I really guess that the point of this vlog- what is on my leg? Shit! Where did that come from? I guess the point of this vlog was to just express how excited I am to finally fully find myself for once in my life and learn and get an education. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. Bye everybody!